invasion of Nazi Europe through Italy by the American Fifth Army. Embarking for Salerno, just below Naples, the great amphibious force of Lieutenant General Mark Clark strikes for the north, even as Montgomery's Eighth Army rolls virtually unopposed through the south. <laughs> sunset, the huge convoy gets underway. Ships extending over a thousand square miles of the Tyrrhenian Sea. General Clark, 5th Army Commander, and Vice Admiral Henry Hewitt commanding the fleet. Salerno, then Naples, is their objective. Already the British 8th occupies the boot of Italy. As Montgomery plunges northward to join the Americans, Clark's forces strike for Salerno. Aboard ship, Ranger battalions study relief maps of the Italian coast. Every mountain and every valley is memorized as they steam for Salerno. During the night, the 5th Army swarms ashore. In the faint light of dawn, under attack from German batteries emplaced in the hills, they dig in, establish their beachhead, and fight back. Ships and supplies are still pouring in. Here, the biggest battle of the Mediterranean campaign develops around this initial thrust into metropolitan Italy. Pushed back time and again by superior Nazi forces, the Fighting Fifth is reinforced on schedule. armored units are brought up, and the Americans take the offensive. General Clark directs the attack from the beach itself. Meanwhile, the Italian fleet steams for Allied ports. General Eisenhower and Admiral Cunningham see the terms of surrender carried out to the letter. Many of the units tie up at once embattled Malta, the greatest naval victory of the war. Today, 